Okay, just before we do go into the explore, I should probably explain that initially I had set out to go and cover the five story building, which is the main Nestle building, the main factory. Uh, it's been covered a few times before by some of my fellow urban explorers, and that's what I wanted to go and see. And it, when I was wandering around there looking for an entrance point, I noticed the library building. And I was stood back looking at it and I noticed there were a generator system and it was fitted to a blue pump a blue pump pipe and it was running right across the yard towards the library. And when I followed the pipe, I noticed it were running into the building through an unboarded window. So I had a walk over and I thought to myself, I can fit through there. You know me, I didn't need asking twice, so in I went and this is what I found. Okay, yeah, so like I was saying, I'm in a I'm in a library. So what we've got is fiction. That window is absolutely beautiful. Some of this woodwork is as well. Way up here. Ordnance survey maps. Okay. And this library was erected in memorial to Joseph Roundtree, 1836 to 1925 in gratitude for a life devoted to service. Wow. And again, we've got it there. Joseph Roundtree Memorial Library. I don't know what the hell that is. Ain't got a clue. Wow, these doors are absolutely beautiful. What have we got in here then? Ah. Travel Italy. I'd love to. Looks a beautiful place. Just like this. Wow. Wow, look at these beams. They're awesome. Right. Okay, so we've got a, a nice looking staircase here, so let's go and see what's up here. What's this? Producers. <laughs> cool. Another clack to, uh, to Mr. Joseph. Oh, wow, wow, wow. How cool is this? Wow. This is stunning. A lot of these uh, movie posters. Hmm. Oh, I've got another one here. I'm gonna just turn this off a minute, I think, so I don't alert anybody outside because I'm currently next to a, a main road. There's some more buildings. I'm not sure if they're operational ones. Uh, but yeah, right next to. The main road, it is still fairly early in the morning, but you can't be too careful. I don't know if you can see it out of that window there, but there's the big building. And I am desperate to get on that roof. But I've had a bit of a walk round it and uh, up to press, I haven't found a way in. But what I have noticed, look at that old radiator, that's cool. Wow. Wow. <laughs> What I have noticed is uh, there's a bit of a stairwell, but there seems to be a pump pumping water. So I don't know if it's uh, if it's an underground passage that leads to the main building, but it's flooded. But I'm definitely going to give it a go. Oh, this is just beautiful! Look at that! Wow! Wow! Hello. Your call cannot be taken at the moment, so please leave your message after the tone. Wow. I'm loving this. Right. Okay.
bar there, yeah. Like I said, I'm going to go and check them uh, the stairs out that go underground, but I can hear loads of water running, so I honestly don't know if it's flooded down there. And I might have to try and find another way into the main building. But just before I started recording, I did hear voices out there, so I don't know if security's turned up. There's cameras everywhere, that's the only problem I've got here, it's just ridiculous. Anyway, let's go and have a let's go and have a nose in. Is that pumping water into there? I don't know. There's not a tunnel that leads to the main building though. I know that. So I can now clearly see that that is blocked off. But that's where I want to be. I want to get up there. I do. That there is literally cameras and sensors all over the place so I am expecting a bit of company soon I'd be very surprised if I don't get any but this place is so big I'm hoping I can just hide from them so I'm not going to worry about that too much let's go and see what's down here shall we Okay, stairs to absolutely nowhere. What's this again? Stairs to fucking nowhere? Yep. I'll tell you what, I've got fucking no chance of getting through that. Because that water is a good foot deep. And I've left my wellies at home. Which is a damn shame because if I hadn't, I'm pretty sure I could have got through there. But I'm not into getting wet. It's a bit like showing spring now. There's water pissing out the wall. Alright. Right, I'm going to give it my uh, my best shot now to get into the main building. I think. Wow, look at this! It's just beautiful, beautiful structure. Oh, I like this. Oh, I like this is. Sorry, turn that off. I just want to go in here and take some photographs actually because this library is cool. Just, want to... just a little bit more time in this awesome little bit. And then I'll take a wonder, try and get into the main building. But I think that's where I'm most at risk of getting busted because, like I said, it's, uh, it's pretty, pretty secure. All as you like. Ha <laughs> Yeah, just going up here because I haven't actually got any photographs of this bit yet, so as ever. I'll click back in with you very shortly. Providing I don't get caught. <laughs> Oh, God. Okay, as many as you might have noticed in some of my previous videos, I have got a serious problem with people drawing cocks and balls. It really gets on my nerves. 
You might have noticed in my last two videos, I never left my obligatory litter, and that's simply because I'm not a litter bug. I was in railway tunnels, it would have just been littering. This place is just too beautiful for some fucking retard to come in here and start drawing cocks and fucking balls all over the place. Any kind of graffiti? No, not in here. It's just too nice. So, I was going to leave my letter in the main building, but I think it's better served here. Don't fucking do it, you retards. Do you like one that I did for this? Look, it's in mid jack, that one. Don't fucking do it. If you do manage to fucking get in here, behave yourself. That's all I'm fucking saying. It's a library. You show some respect. It's not just a library, it's a memorial. Absolutely beautiful one that doesn't need fucking ruining by some tit. Alright, so that's all I'm saying up matter. Like I said I have had a bit of time in here now, so I think it's time to go out there and try and get up onto that roof. Yeah. Oh, let's hope I don't get rumbled. Tell you what though, one thing that I haven't missed while I was doing my railway tunnel explores is the pigeons. They're fucking everywhere. But having said that, it feels good to be back in a big factory. It really does. I do like my big buildings. And this is a fucking monster. And like I say, if you can see on the entrance, sorry, to the main building. There is a lot of cameras on here. There's also, like I said, the sensors on walls. So, I don't know how much time I'm going to have here, but I'm going to give it my best shot to get up there. And there we am. So, providing I manage to do it next time I check back in, I'll be in that building. I'll either be in that building or I'll be back at car having a cup of tea. So let's go and have a nosy.
Right folks, didn't make it in, went all the way around place, it was absolutely solid, shuttered up to the max, as ever, I ain't breaking into anything, but yeah, my second rooftop fail if you like, but I don't care because if you believe that, you're probably the sort of person that, you know, still leaves milk and cookies out on Christmas Eve. Of course I was gutted, I was fucking well gutted. I'm just passionate about what I do. I was fucking wounded. I really, really wanted to get onto that roof. But after the explo, when I got back home, it, I really thought about it and I thought, well, I can't put this video on YouTube without giving away the location. And I was genuinely worried that the place might fall foul to, to vandalism. And I just could not let that happen. So I decided to write an old little letter, make a second trip back to York and make sure that the place was fully secured before releasing this video. So that's what I did because, you know, it was. Because it was the right and the responsible thing to do. I didn't want some little dickhead getting in there and drawing cocks and fucking balls all over the place. I mean, for fuck's sake. And there's that passion again. Thanks for watching. Take care folks. Laters. Yeah.